This is an update on my origami quilt video. Uh, I've got a new variation to show you and I've made a rather large example here which is this which is a uh, 81 modules but the thing I'm going to show you is these pinwheel modules. Um, this was folded using seven and a half centimetre paper, squares like these. For demonstration purposes, we're going to be using a 15 centimetre standard size of origami paper. And this is the unit we're going to be folding. So here we go. I'm going to fold one of these into the quilt module. So white side up, I'm folding in half ok, I'm going to turn that round and I'm going to fold a raw edge to that creased edge if I turn the paper over I'll fold the other raw edge I'm going to unfold everything and we've got three creases we're going to make the same creases in the other direction so fold in half raw edge to the top turn over and the other raw edge If I unfold everything now, we have a 4x4 four four grid. And we now need to make some diagonal creases across a 2x2 two two square. So the way I'd like to do this, I'll fold, refold one of these edges over, and I'm going to fold diagonally across two squares. So the crease stops here. If I unfold that, rotate it 90 degrees, I'm going to keep doing the same again, so we end up with four diagonal creases. So here's the second one. Unfold, rotate, fold that over. Here's the third crease. Unfold rotate and the final crease and this is all the pre-creasing we need for the module now with that all done now going to pinch the sides and using the existing creases the paper will collapse like this okay and then and fold the four loose flaps to the center so this is exactly like the standard quilt module in my other video three the variation is very very simple all we're going to do is a squash fold um, I'm going to lift one of these pockets, fold it across. I'm going to make a diagonal crease like this as, as it collapses. So, um, there, that's a diagonal, that's a squash fold. So, I'll take the next pocket. We'll squash that the same way. Two. Three. 
And the final one is slightly hidden, so I just adjust the layers as I make this last squash fold. And that is the pinwheel variant of the quilt module. And to join two together, we just fold one of these points back like this on each of the modules. And if we turn these points over, we just hold them together and we very fold, always fold slightly short of the, if exactly in half, so I just leave a little gap and I do the same again, leave a tiny gap and I'm folding that, fold it over one more time. That's how they lock together, but this final flap can tuck underneath the other module. So when we fold that over, it just tucks underneath. And that's how we link two of the modules, modules together. And we do the same with the other 79 modules if you want to make something that's that size. There we go, that's the pinwheel variation of my quilt module.